Hey everyone, wanted to show you how to quickly update your DLSS to the latest 3.5.1. We'll start right away with DLSS Super Resolution or regular DLSS. You'll need an RTX card for this. You'll go to Tech Power Up. I'll put the link in the description below. Go right to NVIDIA DLSS DLL file. That is the regular DLSS. We'll go ahead and click the latest version and download that. It'll bring us to the download pages. Hit that first link. It'll download download the file. We'll go right to the folder where it downloads. Click that folder icon there, depending on your browser. And you'll right click on the file. You'll hit extract all and then hit OK or extract. And now you have your DLSS file that you have downloaded. Right click on it and verify that it is the correct file. Properties, hit details. There you go. Deep learning super sampling 3.5.1. Now you're going to navigate to wherever your games are stored. I use a games drive and we'll go to that file. We'll, in the upper right hand corner, we'll choose search and we'll type in nvngx underscore dlss dot dll. It'll search that drive for your games that support DLSS. And if you right click and hit details, you'll get a better view of this. You can expand that name out. We'll pick this game, sit at the bottom here, Back for Blood. As you can right click on it, hit details, and you'll see it's an older version of the DLSS, so it's a great candidate. Right click on it, hit open file location, and that'll bring us right to the location of that DLL file. And you can click on it once, so it gives it a little highlight there. And at the end, type a dot and type the word backup or old or something like that, anything but .dll. Now go to your downloads folder and find that file you just downloaded, that new fresh DLSS file, and right click on it and copy it, or just right click on it and drag it over and hit copy here, or you're gonna paste if you just hit copy, and that's it. That's how quick it is to update your DLSS file for just about any game, and you can verify by right clicking and hitting properties and details. The next file we're going to update is for Ray Reconstruction DLL. That is also for all RTX cards. The first thing you're going to do is very similar to the last step is go over to Tech Power Up. We're going to locate the DLSS file for Ray Reconstruction. Go ahead and hit uh, that link and you'll find the latest file here if you want to switch out to different files the difference here in the file naming is the d so we're going to hit the download hit that first link get that downloaded once you've got that downloaded in your downloads folder open it up and you're going to right click on that file you'll hit extract all hit extract or okay depending on your browser and now you have that brand new DLSSD file, the Ray reconstruction for all RTX files. Just verify, hit properties and details on it. And as you can see, 3.5.1, brand new. And we're going to search our games, this time nvngx underscore DLSS D dot DLL. And the games that support it will come up. Right now, it looks like Cyberpunk is the game that we're going to choose for this example. We'll right click on that file, hit open file location, and rename the end of that file to dot backup or dot old, something of the sort. Once that is done, go back to your downloads folder where you have that new file. Right click on it and copy or right click drag and hit copy here. And you've now updated your Ray Reconstruction DLL for the games that do support it. Super easy, super fun. You can verify by right clicking, hitting properties and details, and that's all. And last, we'll focus on the DLSS frame generation file update. You're going to need an RTX 4000 series base card, like a 4070, 4080, 4090, something like that. Same thing as before, you're going to go to Tech Power Up. You're going to find the DLSS frame generation link. This is denoted by the G, and a real easy way to do this is just copy the nvngx underscore dlssg.dll file, hit download, hit the download, 
download link. We're going to go into the downloads folder and right click and hit extract all like the other two. Hit extract. We now have a brand new frame generation file. You can right click and hit properties then details and verify that is the new frame generation file. There you go. Now let's search for a game that supports frame generation. We'll just paste the NVNGX file up into the search box and it will find games that support frame generation for the 4000 series cards and this time it looks like it's going to be Tarkov. We'll right click and hit open file location. It's got the file highlighted. Go ahead and dot backup or dot old at the end of that. Now let's go into download to get that fresh file and simply copy it over and now Tarkov is updated with the latest frame generation file and you can verify by right clicking hitting properties and then details fresh and new how easy is that guys now if you don't find the .dll extensions there you don't see them the simple solution for that is just to go find options usually up there in the corner go to view and uncheck hide extensions for known file types and hit apply and OK and those should return and you should see the .dll at the end of those files. Thanks for watching Trolls Tech. I'm Trollbender. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and check out my other videos like my Copper Mod video or the Lady PC video. Those are great. Have a good one. I love you people.